Okay, so here's another Friday Functions video, and this one is going to talk a little bit about the distinct function. The distinct function is a great function to get unique values from a list. So I've generated an app here directly from SharePoint from a list called Zones. And basically, these are all the zone codes for our different zones. And you can notice for zone one, we have three codes. For zone two, we have three codes. And for zone three, we have two. But let's suppose I wanted to do a drop down that just showed the three zones. I need to get the unique values, what values, and don't let anything repeat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the gallery and I'm going to make some space for this. And I'm going to put a drop down box right there. So I'm just going to insert a control and I'm going to make it a drop down box. Now I could use a combo box, I could use a list box. I would do them all the same way basically. I would drop down the control. And since this is an array of items, so this is more than one, right? There's more than one zone. I need something where I can get more than one item. So I wouldn't be able to use a label for this because a label only has one item. So now when you drop down your drop down list, it automatically gives you like a default uh, set of values. And I think that is just like one, two, three, but we can run it to see that is just one, two, three, right? but we want to tie it to the same list. So I'm going to go ahead and change this items value here to be the name of my list, which is uh, zones. Okay, so now it has, it's connected to the zones table. Um, and it basically needs to know like, what's the default item here? And I think, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the distinct value in here right now. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here in front of zones and I'm going to type the word distinct, D-I-S-T-I-N-C-T. And so now we have distinct zones. And what do we want to get back from this distinct zones? We want to get the title field because that's where I have zone one, zone two, zone three. Remember, you always need to know your data source before you do anything. So let's run this and see what it gives us back. And you can see if I drop this down, I've got zone one, two, or three. So it's very easy to get distinct values from any data collection just simply by using the distinct function. And I use it quite a bit. So it's very helpful, especially with cascading drop downs when you want to get distinct values from a list. So I hope you enjoyed this Friday Functions video, and I look forward to doing another one soon.